Good evening and a very warm welcome to our service of evening prayer. It's Sunday the 27th of December and I hope you've all been having a wonderful festive period over the last couple of days and I hope you're not all too worn out with it all. I'm very delighted you can join me if you're watching me live and equally as delighted if you're watching me a bit later on at another time. So tonight we remember St John, Apostle and Evangelist, and he's the Apostle said to be the disciple that Jesus loved. John was the son of Zebedee, and he was one of the twelve Apostles. Together with his brother James and with Simon Peter, they kind of formed a little bit of an inner circle, a little group of three, and they were privileged enough to witness some of the greatest miracles. So John expressed a willingness to undergo martyrdom, as indeed did the other apostles, and he is accordingly called a martyr in intention. However, there is ancient testimony that although imprisoned and exiled for proclaiming the gospel, John was eventually released and died a natural death in Ephesus, a martyr in will, but not in deed. So that's just a little bit of information about uh, St John, Apostle and Evangelist. So our psalm tonight is Psalm 97 and our readings are taken from Isaiah chapter 6 and 1 John chapter 5. Let us be still for a moment and bring our hearts and minds before God. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary, bless the Lord. You that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and for ever. Amen. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Turn back to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoings and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Lord who has heard the voice of our prayer. Therefore shall our hearts dance for joy, and in our song we will praise our God. We come to Psalm 97. The Lord reigns, let the earth be glad, let the distant shores rejoice. Clouds and thick darkness surround him, 
Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and consumes his foes on every side. His lightning lights up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness and all people see his glory. All who worship images are put to shame, those who boast in idols, worshipping all you gods. Zion hears and rejoices, and the villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments, Lord. For you, Lord, are the most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. Let those who love the Lord hate evil. For he guards the lives of his faithful ones and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light shines on the righteous and joy on the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, all you who are righteous, and praise his holy name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So our first reading, our Old Testament reading, is from Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 to 8. In the year that King Isaiah died, I saw the Lord, high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphim, each with six wings, with two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying, and they were calling to one another. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Woe to me, I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. With it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away and your sin atoned for. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us rejoice and exult and give glory and homage to our God. Salvation and glory and power belong to our God, whose judgments are true and just. Praise our God, all you his servants, all who fear him, both small and great. The Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding banquet of the Lamb. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Let us rejoice and exult and give glory and homage to our God. And our second reading tonight from the New Testament is from 1 John chapter 5 verses 1 to 12. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out his commands. In fact, this is love for God, to keep his commands. 
and his commands are not burdensome. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. He did not come by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit who testifies, because the Spirit is the truth. For there are three that testify, the Spirit, the water and the blood, and the three are in agreement. We accept human testimony, but God's testimony is even greater because it is the testimony of God, which he has given about his Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God accepts this testimony. Whoever does not believe God has made him out to be a liar because they have not believed the testimony God has given about his Son. And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. The Lord is the strength of my life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. You have done great things, O God, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You have done great things, O God, and holy is your name. So we declare our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Rejoicing in the love and life of God made visible among us, 
let us pray through Jesus, his only begotten Son. Everlasting God, as New Year approaches, we may find ourselves concerned about what it might hold. Reassure us with your loving presence that whatever might happen in the coming year, you will be with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, bread of life, your beloved disciple John brought us your living word. Inspire all evangelists and teachers to build up your church. We pray for our archbishops, bishops, archdeacons, clergy and laity. May your Holy Spirit inspire and encourage them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, light of the world, illuminate the dark places of this world where sin and violence and death cast their shadow over human lives. We pray for all victims of war, oppression and famine in so many places in our world. Pray for families of policemen killed in France and all those damaged by domestic violence throughout our land. Grant them your peace justice and healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, Prince of Peace, we pray for your peace in our nation. As a Brexit deal comes before our leaders and those in Europe, we ask that they will all be willing to accept the proposals and regardless of differing political views and opinions, we will be able to work together for a better future for all the nations involved. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, gate of the sheepfold, protect all whose work leads them into danger. We pray for our emergency services, paramedics, hospital staff, police, firefighters and coast guards. Keep them safe from harm and strengthen them when their shift is long and bleak. We pray also for those whose homes have been damaged by flooding over Christmas, and those who've had to evacuate at short notice. We pray you will grant them all the help and support they need and bless those who come to their aid. Give grace to our loved ones, families and friends. Help us to protect, love and care for them all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, the way, the truth and the life. Minister to all who are lost or without faith. Bind up the broken and give rest to the weary. Help us to care for and serve the sick and all those in need. In your name and for your glory. We pray for those we name before you now in our hearts. For all those we have named in our prayers during this week. And tonight we pray especially for John and Mary Law Clark and Alex Smith. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Jesus, the resurrection and the life, raise us up at the last day with all who have gone before us in faith, with those whom we love but see no longer, with John and all your saints that are in your Father's house, we may come to the place you have prepared for us. Tonight we pray especially for Karen Parks and Jane Bullis. We pray also for Faye Newton, Tom Moore, Ken Lane, John Greaves Smith, Dorothy Westwood and Alan Jones, the anniversary of whose deaths fall at this time. May all who mourn know the tenderness of your embrace and the comfort of your peace. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. And so we thank you for this coming new year, for the potential it holds. Move us every morning to look forward to the future with hope and to give you thanks for the wonders of your creation and the wonderful gifts you have given us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Collect for the first Sunday of Christmas. Merciful Lord, cast your bright beams of light upon the church, that, being enlightened by the teaching of your blessed Apostle and Evangelist, St John, we may so walk in the light of your truth, that we may at last attain to the light of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your incarnate Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And our evening prayer. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray. And in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And so let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. As always, a big thank you for being with me. Our morning prayer will continue at 8.30 each morning throughout next week. So I'll be back with you again in the morning, uh, continuing with the Comfort and Joy Liturgy. So hopefully you'll join me again then. Uh, again, if you'd like a copy of the liturgy, uh, private message me on Facebook with your email address and I'll ping a copy across to you. So let us end our service by saying the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I wish you all a very peaceful evening and a restful night and I will see you again in the morning, I hope. God bless. <laughs>